Ever wonder how electric motors are made? The process begins with frame casting. Aluminum ingots are melted in a furnace and poured into cleaned molds using hydraulic presses. Once cooled, the formed frame is trimmed and refined. Next is the shaft, which is drilled and machined until its final shape is achieved. It is then inserted into the rotor, which is sanded, measured for precision, balanced by machine, and coated with anti-rust paint. Meanwhile, insulating films are inserted into the stator's inner grooves to prevent electrical contact and manage heat generated during operation. The copper coils are inserted into these grooves and tightly pressed into position. The coils are then stitched together, compressed into a unified solid block and undergoes a thorough inspection to detect any issues before continuing. The stator is placed into a vacuum impregnated to remove all moisture and air bubbles. This is to make sure these motors can withstand up to 10,000 volts and operate at temperatures over 180 degrees Celsius. Finally, assembly begins with stator fitted snugly into the frame. One end of the frame is ground to allow for lid mounting and the first cover is installed. Bearings are then mounted onto the shaft and the rotor is carefully inserted into the center of the stator. A second lid seals the opposite side of the motor, enclosing the internal components. The motor is then painted, dried, cleaned, and fitted with a cooling fan and protective cage. Then the internal wiring and other component is connected with care. The motor undergoes a full performance test. Once approved, the pull box cover is attached. Finally, the motor is packaged and prepared for shipment. Every 40 seconds, one motor is completed, allowing the factory to produce up to 2,000 units each day.